Hello everybody and welcome back to What? The Torch Hate Estate. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -ba -ba. I don't know if you guys heard that sound, but it was like a boom boom. But that threw me off pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so. What I was going to say before that interruption is in this episode, we are going to be going through all of the last episode's plans. I do want to get through the second Darkest Dungeon as well as take on the power for Gorgon. But I was also given a really interesting idea. You know, Nynx, the boss we were experimenting with last episode? Well, Brian, good old Brian, was saying, well, why don't you, um, you know, bring out the big guns? I thought about it, and I decided that there is absolutely no possible way that I could ever see myself doing such just a terrible act there is just no possible way I could ever bring myself to do that. Because, you see, there's just simply some lines that you don't cross. And I, you know, for better or for worse, I think that would be a line that if we were to cross, we would never be able to bring it back. So it's for that reason that I, you know, I just can't do it. I can't use the big guns against Nynx. There's just no possible way that I could physically bring myself to do such a thing. Like, you know, if you guys want to do it, that's perfectly fine. I fully understand, but me, personally, I don't know if I could do it. It's really just, it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, there's morals there's the good and bad in the world. There's the good and bad of the person. So, you know, it really just just depends on what you think. If you think it's something worth doing, then by all means, you should do it. But me, I don't know if I ever could cross that line, you know? I, j I hold myself just a little bit too high up to ever fully do that. So, you know what? Uh... Why did she leave? I was gonna kill her. Why'd she leave? <laughs> Heart of Truth. With you, I regret nothing. It's... Uh, it, minus health, more crit received. Ruri Golden Kudru. Um, it's good against every faction. Immune to the pinch. On attack, crit, bleed. What a weird little trinket. Anyway, yeah, uh, so you literally can't kill her. Um, because we, I was trying to kill her. Like, and I actually got decently far. So you physically cannot kill her. She just leaves too fast. Well, <clears throat> that was fun. Ooh, Ancestor's map. Oh, don't mind if I just buy all the ancestral trinkets. Okay, so, quite literally, you cannot kill Nyx. There just isn't enough time. Even with the big guns, we still couldn't kill her. Now, she was level 4. <coughs> I'm just going to say that one more time. She was level 4. <coughs> one more time, just in case you really didn't hear it. Just one more time. Level 4. You got it? Okay. Good. I, I'm glad I'm glad you understand what I'm saying. Um yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't use her in this estate. She is so freaking busted. Here's the funny thing. Red Lotus? Actually pretty balanced, all things considered. Lilith? If you're not using a very particular build, actually decently balanced. Gabura? It's, she's super, super strong. Um, maybe... Eh, 
balanced if you're not using her trinkets, but the big guns? There's no balance to be seen here. Supplies you might find in the pet cemetery can aid you. Well, that's a pretty good tip. We enter this wretched place once again. Boop. And boop. Alrighty, we bring Ivanko with Graceful Rapier, Banner of the Defeated, and Body of the God with Chop, Purge, Revenge, and Withstand. Uh, we might take Intimidate. You know what? Actually, we'll do this. Solemnity and Intimidate. He's not always going to be able to use Intimidate because Gabura is going to move forward, but she has Tall Nut. Justicia. Justicia. And the Bunny Doll because it's a memory of her old um, <clears throat> rivals. And all of her abilities. And then the Fool, the Fool. With Wolf's Fang, the Ancient Wendigo Antler. And Persephone's crown with whale because we have to weeping song first circle and fifth circle. I'm debating changing these. Um, 40, 50, 60, 20, 50, 80. Let's do. Let's go aggressive. Let's go burrowing, weeping song, and fifth circle. And rose the air with Ancestral Elixir, Smoldering Hurricane Lamp, and the Concert Glow Stick with the Rose's Thorn, Bloom, Divine Communion, and Rose's Embrace. So, all in all, I think this is going to be a pretty good team. The only one that is technically a, a threat to the team is the Fool, as usual. But... I'm thinking with the stress healing that the air can do, the fool should be fine. The plus four stress, while it's it does suck, it's not going to be the end of the world. Plus, it's going to make her do less um, stress damage to everyone else. Plus, it's a nice 50% damage increase while afflicted, which she always is. So... Shall we begin? Uh, if I remember correctly, it's upwards. Now, are these maps always the same? We're gonna find out if it splits into three roads above us. Their weak spots are exposed. They may be statues, but they will fall all the same. Uh, got him. It's that simple. Those statues, <laughs> they never stood a chance. Interesting. So the maps might be the same. So technically, if you had a map, you'd be able to just go through. I don't remember which way we went, though. Actually, let's use our torch. Wait. Okay, so... They all lead to the same spot, I think. Wait. Oh, I went back for this! Alrighty, we have finally made our way to the Gorgon. But, here's the thing I'm kind of questioning. I haven't found where this fox figurine needs to go. And I haven't found a dolphin or an owl statue at all. I'm guessing they're potentially in these four curios right here. My only question is how big is this map? Like, so we need a dolphin for this room. So presumably there's something good in there. And then, I believe we need a dolphin for this room. Hmm. Well, let's fight the Gorgon. There she is. 
in all of her beautiful glory. Ugh. All right. So, here's what we need to do. I'm going to break these columns again. <laughs> in all honesty, I'm going to break them again. So let us power up to do so. I've seen the way. Mm, can't focus spirit. That sucks. Oh well. How much damage did we do? Seven. Nice. Okay, that's a double stun, I believe? Yeah. So he's stunned for two turns. That sucks. Guardian of Souls. Oh. Ah, we're fine. I don't know if we can. Hmm. I don't know if, we'll, if we would be able to survive long enough with this team to break the columns. Hmm. I think the fool was a mistake for going for the columns. We're gonna see what happens. I'm most certainly going to try, but I'm thinking we won't actually be able to do it. Blade love. Oh, that's a big bleed. Six over three. Uh, we were debuffed. Hit all three. Okay, we've broken her aegises. Now. It's not a guaranteed Night Fragment, is it? Oh, if it is, we absolutely need it. Oh, it'd be so good, though. Do we know what Fragments they give? Are they just random, or...? I mean, I would love... Even the ranged one would be really good, honestly. Because there's a couple characters that could really use more range damage. Mm. We're gonna see what we can do. Oh, that did some good damage. We actually saw that on the health bar. <laughs> Blade glove. Oh, okay, she's identified the weak link of the party. Let's give a big single target heal. I don't think that's enough. Ah, I think the, well, the fool is always a risky pick, but I think now is the... I think now especially she might have been a mistake. It's very possible. 57 damage. I'd like to see you get through that. Okay. Stun is over. Ow! <laughs> oh, what is that bleed? Woo! You know what? Just gonna self heal. And now, we're gonna group you. Blade glove? Is she? Oh no. Oh. That's not... Uh-oh. Uh... Goodbye, stress. Oh, well. Goodbye... Ugh. Hello, stress, is what I should say. Ow. <laughs> oh, that was painful. Big damage on all three? You know what? Focus spirit. Coin. Another one? Coin. Okay. So this is one. Um. Oh, we can't even see how much that. I think this is gonna do a lot. That didn't do a lot. Hmm. 
not the desired response. Hmm. I... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to stall this out. The Fool was absolutely a mistake for this, and I'm going to be punished for it by not getting the goodies. Ah! Well, I don't think we got a choice, boys. I think we just got to do it to her. There is simply no other way, my lady. I'm afraid you must fall to our hand. Although, if you'd like to join our estate, you are more than welcome to. We love, well, monsters. Any sort of monster you can imagine, most likely welcome. So you know what? Put down your spear and join us. You just, look, just set it right on the ground. Right on the ground. Look, if you just set it on the ground, right, we can put all this behind us. Right? Sound good? You want to come to our estate? Yes? You don't? Death! <laughs> that was an execute. Wait! Oh, those pillars. I wanted those. <laughs> Alas, the fool was... A mistake. How about some crab? Oh wait, no, we want to keep that crab meat. Okay. Um, we could keep exploring. Uh. Oh, look at the cat up there. I just noticed that. Huh. How long's he been there? Um. Yeah, we could keep exploring. I actually think I'm gonna opt not. Two? Yeah. I think I'm gonna opt not to. We get basically 40k gold. Alright. The soul stone of healing and the urn with the fox, which is on attack crit, uh, you gain a chance of dodge effects. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're fine. Alrighty, all things considered, that went super, super, super well. What is this trinket? That is a strange trinket. Okay, so next up, I believe what we want to do, there is a lot of mini bosses we need to go fight. Oh, broken wings. If afflicted, a lot of stats. Wait a minute. So, her, her set bonus is basically, I want to be afflicted, and if I'm afflicted, I just Omega Stress Heal. Hmm. Alright. Fair enough. Um, could go for the Swine King. Could go for the Iron Crowns. You know what's funny? All of our max levels can't go <laughs> to the Darkest Dungeon. Okay, well, most of them. So let's see, we have Little Red, Corin, Sally, Starlight, Minerva, Ulog, Mora, Celeste, uh, Lawrence, Hunter, Kagero, Eddie, Yukari, Jeffrey, Annabelle, Junia, Gabura, The Fool, Ivanko, Stuart, Lilith, Akesh, Josephine, Gilbert, Gordis, Chrissy, Amalgam, Dave, Belstad, Unnamed, Legion. Okay, so we have a lot of options. <laughs> Uh, at least enough options to get through the second Darkest Dungeon. Now, the question is, who do we want to bring? Because, honestly, I'm kind of feeling Mio for the third Darkest Dungeon. I think she would do really well against the Cysts. Or, more specifically, the White Cell Stock. So I'm kind of feeling her for the third Darkest Dungeon. Uh, but for this one, I'm, we could take Lilith. Nothing wrong with taking Lilith, right? Yeah. Maybe we'll take... 
Mia will take Lilith. Maybe we'll take a cash. We take a cash. Hmm. I need to think on that. Well, I was deciding. I also decided. You know what? We need. We need to pay one of our friends a little bit of a extra visit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just. I think she got off too easy the first time. I. You know what? <laughs> we outsped her. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. I like that. Literally outsped Minx. You know how she's supposed to just, like, go first no matter what? Yeah, we just outsped her. Mm, whatever. We have 999 speed. Yeah, no big deal. Okay. Well, nice knowing you. <laughs> oh no, a solar flare. Whatever will I do? Mm, I got that health back. Ah, 15 damage to an immortal being such as myself? <laughs> I don't think so. So, this is ranged. Man, she still takes like no damage. Oh, everyone's immune to melee attacks. And they have agencies. It's a little bit unfortunate, ain't it? I don't understand why they're just, like, healing over. Also, why is he getting so many turns? This is, like... Hmm. Yes. Finally. Okay, they're both stunned. No more infinite turn lock for you. No! Why are you leaving?! Uh stop leaving. I <sighs> Eternal promise. 20% protection, 10% melee, more stress on being hit, gain a regen. We have a trinket like that already. Uh wait of a heart, friendly skill, heal for two, bleed for two. Pink bow. Oh. <gasps> we can make a magical girl build. Oh my goodness. Oh, now that just sounds downright heavenly. The thing has no name or language. Nevertheless, those who would submit to its word this will are rewarded in a fashion. The creature's blessings are as repulsive as they are robust. Twisted half-human monstrosities stalk the flesh-ridden halls, protecting their gestating god. And so the time is right. We enter the second darkest dungeon. Sally the Goblin Huntress with the Pink Bow, the Forbidden Eye, the Ancient Wendigo's Antler, Slug, Shot, Riot Control, Decimate, and Damage Focus. Little Red, the Hood, with the Body of a God, Ancestor's Coat, Talisman of the Flame, what is this? I hit the mic, sorry about that. Sip of wine, and there's a cat. Junia the Vestal with the Ancestral Elixir. The Ancestor's Lantern, just to try and give us the surprise edge, or at the very least, n so that we don't get surprised. Talisman of the Flame, Mace Bash, Dazzling Light, Divine Grace, and Divine Comfort. And Mora the Philomath with... Wolf's Fang, Wolf's Hide, and the Talisman of the Flame with Head Trauma, Page Cutter, Sundering Flesh, and Breakdown. So, what did this replace? Ah, oh, replaced Finisher. Ugh. Like, the only one I wouldn't have wanted replaced. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna immediately head to the left. So we don't really have to worry about guarding just yet. So instead, she's just going to be a dodge butt. A, a dodge bot. All that. <laughs> I guess dodge butt does fit in a certain circumstance. But you know what? Never mind that. Big damage on the healer. We do not want him doing anything. Like that. We don't want that happening. 
That didn't feel nice. I stun you! And I get a repost. <laughs> so. Sally cannot crit. Because of the Forbidden Eye. However, she ignores... Well, she, pe she has 50% armor piercing. So, I think it kind of balances out. Not that a whole lot has protection here. But... Okay, maybe it was a mistake. You know what? It's an interesting build, though, so I wanted to give it a try. She's also basically guaranteed to land every attack. <laughs> Stun repost. Easy. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Sally, get in there. You're doing well. All right, tough fight incoming. But I'm a strike. Ow! But I okay, so. <coughs> Whew. Really big heal. Okay. Heal that. You know what? Why not? Oh, wait. This. Yeah, the sense of turn. Okay, so. Guard here. Try and protect her. Obviously, she is not the best guard in the world, but uh, you know what? She's trying. 22 crit. Very, very nice. Revelation. <laughs> we may be creatures of the night, but even we can see that the torch protects us from your filth. Banish! You know what? That isn't who I wanted to go for. Big heal. Now it might be, uh, it's dead anyway. Oh wait, no it's not. Also 90 dodge and she's like been hit every time this fight. Case in point. <laughs> All right, showtime. Yes, the stars are ready. And we shall not keep them waiting. The stars are on our side. Why? Come on! The wolf! The wolf! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Where's that 90 dodge? Come on! <laughs> okay, that helps us a little bit. Ooh. Night mirror? What's this one? Damage reflection. Doubles if the torch is below 50. Oh my goodness. That'd be much better on like a tank, but still, regardless, it's so, oh, that seems good. All right, repost us. <laughs> yes. Um, dodge please. Hungry for the headlines, making the headlines. Your mortal flesh can always stand this! Join us! <laughs> Woo! It's a good voice. Okay, page cutter. Be gone. Nope. Um, let's do damage. He definitely will not use revelation on Sally. He will not do it. I don't believe it. See? What'd I tell ya? I told you he wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> wow, these stun chances, they're really working for us. Hello. And now, he's going to do it on her. So, we're gonna guard her. Predicting it. It's gonna happen? I know it is. Big damage, here it comes. 19 easy. Never mind. Ha ha! A master of predictions. I simply amaze even myself. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, that... <laughs> Please kill him. Um, 
What does more damage? This. Ah! Mora, you need to crit just a little bit more. Almost got him now. The river does <laughs> The power, it speaks to me. Ugh! She's doing more damage than Sally is. Ouch! At least it didn't blight. <laughs> Be gone, beast! Yeah. Night Hunter. Oh, please be good, please be good, please. Whoa! Hi! You got a lot. Wait, it, it got rid of... Wait a minute. No, it didn't. I thought it got rid of one of her locked-in skills. Night Hunter. Oh, my God. That's so good. Oh, Night Traveler is even better. Wait a minute. Night Traveler on a dark spawn. Oh, man. Night D... Okay. <clears throat> so these trinkets, uh, these uh, quirks are pretty good. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so in order to get this key, you need to beat that um, that brigand boss who's all about the moon. He's how you get these keys, which is how you get these. Uh... Huh. Are these? Can you have multiple of these, or is it just like one per roster? Why must the Sunward Isles haunt us even now? Music overload. Okay, so we're out of keys. Um, so we're not gonna be gaining any more trinkets, uh, any more quirks, but Night Traveler, Night Hunter, Night Demon, Night Traveler, Night Hunter, <laughs> Night Demon, Night Mirror, and nothing for poor little Brad. But big damage, even bigger debuffs. Even the things that say about that, I can't carry that to Uh, stress is a little high. Just a bit. Ritualistic restoration. Um, I don't want to bail, but Frivolous! She's always frivolous. What a lovely evening! <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so clearly my plan of like, ah, I'll just ignore all, <laughs> all protection. Not working out too well. Uh, probably would have been better off just getting more crit chance. Okay. Yeah, probably would have been better off. Yarg. La lu 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 la la. Stun. Yeah. All right, that's gonna help out at least. That's not. Ugh, 44 crit. Our damage is finally picking up. Um. Turn off the light, please. Turn it off. Uh, can't hit her. So. Bump. 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 Big damage. Big damage. Ugh. Wait a minute, he's a stonework now? Was he always a stonework? Am I losing it? Maybe. Maybe I am no better than Mora. Perhaps I am losing my mind as well. But all that matters is that we are on the way. And... Okay, here we go. Step. Step. <laughs> Through this, I find power. Nah! One health! <laughs> oh! Alright, we still got him, but... A little bit unfortunate. I would have liked to guard Sally. Although, prediction time, this is a very bad one. She's not gonna... I did say it was a very bad prediction. Alright. So, should have guarded, in hindsight. Oh boy. Ugh! Don't bleed. 
Fuck you. Did it anyway. Leaf flight. <laughs> Reflection, though. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Alright. You asked for it. Boosh! These sick thoughts strengthen me. We either all die or all live. There is no in between here. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go for Mora because she's the lowest health one and has a dot? Or are you going to see that Sally, technically, is the most vulnerable for you, to your stress and therefore go for her? But if you know anything that uh, about what I know, then I know that you know that I kn that that you are aware that I'm thinking, that you're thinking, that I am thinking, that I am a multi-million wrinkles in my brain, and therefore you are going to go for Sally with the stress. But you knew that I would say that, and therefore you're going to double cross me and go for a revelation on Mora. But, let us not be too hasty, for I know that you know that I know that you know you have a stinger shot embedded in your mind to go for Mora. And therefore, you are going to go for Sally. Regarding Sally. Okay. <laughs> uh, can't you see it's useless? Good news. He didn't go for Sally. Um, or Mora. So in reality, he had the biggest brain. Oh, stun. Oh. Almost. Oh. Big heal. Yes. Ow. Uh oh. Why go for that ability? Why can't you go for a good one? Alright. Um. <clears throat> Sally, you are fresh out of luck. He's going to hit Sally, I guarantee it. Nah, see? He knew that I knew that, <laughs> that he was actually going to go for Mora once I said that he would go for Sally. Boosh! Maybe we should have damaged up there instead. Eh, potentially. Bruh. My life for the Crimson Fluid. Oh, why would you deny? I mean, you went stealth. Okay, now. The terror. Boosh! Okay. And we still have the hardest fight to do. <laughs> oh, we're not out of the woodworks just because we've gotten two of them. The stairs at her toes. Well, at least she's having a good time. Uh, <coughs> 105 dodge, sir. I'd like to see you hit that, even though they do multiple times. Bottom! Begin. <sighs> Which one's the bigger threat? I think the Warlord. That's one we're focusing down. Um, our stun chance is abysmally low. Peace. Okay, well, she didn't need healing anyway. Guard here, absolutely. <sighs> oh boy, yeah. And that right there is why it's a more dangerous one. Yep, case in point. Ow. Now that's a lot of damage! Ow. Should have cured that blight. Group heal, don't deny it. Okay, good. At the very least, safe for now. Well, this isn't good. Wow, we got the stun! 
That's a blessing in disguise. Hey, guard here. Ugh. Safe for now. Ow! Uh. <laughs> no? Eh, that could be equally bad. 52 crit. Now that's more like it. Also, again, why didn't I cure the blight? Yeah, going invisible is nice and all, but... Okay, uh, frivolous time. Hey! What a lovely evening! Oh. Hello, I'm up here now. Um, well... Guard here. Although a revelation on Sally would really suck. Okay, we're fine. Except for a little bit more stress. Group heal. Yes! Vestal is amazing. Hey, we're finally gonna cure that. Never mind! <laughs> Come on! Ugh. Ugh, we can't guard her again, so... Damage. Oh, really? Ah! I'm surprised that bleed didn't go off. Raw. Okay. Damage up. It's go time. <laughs> it's time for little blood. Oh. That could be bad. Oh, why? All right, she's fine. Uh, well, dodge up. 110 dodge. Let's see if it matters. It does. Not that that would have done damage, but... Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Yikes. Mora is essentially the only one doing any real damage. Grenac okay. <laughs> damage. You know what? Just start laying the damage on as, as hard as we can. Revelation. On her, it really doesn't matter. Almost got him. Ow. It wasn't a crit. Oosh! <laughs> Brother, father! You know what? Mora, despite your refusals to accept the healing, you get to do the last one. Ooh, we're done. Yes, we are done. Well, we got the uh, Plague Doctor charm. Oh, Cleanly's. Yeah, Cleanly's pretty good. And no other quirks. Alright, so... That is four more heroes that can no longer return to the darkest dungeon. But, all in all, that should be okay. So, we do have quite a few characters left, and there's only two more darkest dungeon missions left to go. So, the question now becomes, who are we going to bring for the final two missions? I can think of a lot of characters that would do well, but the question is, who deserves to go? What was I saying? Someone came in. We need to figure out what this Dwimmer like is. I have no idea what it is, but one of these days we're going to figure it out and we will destroy it. As we tend to do most things. Alrighty, well, I believe that is going to do it for this episode of the Torchade Estate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and let me know what you thought down in the comments down below. And in the next episode, I'm kind of thinking we need to level up some of our um, some of our characters who haven't gotten to see too much of the light of day. Even though we do have a lot of high-level characters, there is still quite a few who... Okay. Uh, 
I think the minority of characters haven't seen the time of day, but that doesn't mean that they shouldn't. So, we're going to work on them in the next episode, maybe see how well they do or don't do, and we'll just see how it goes. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.